It's that time of day. The dreading of the going to the post office. <laughs> um, we've got looks like nine or ten packages going out. Uh, two VCRs, which uh, is interesting. Sold both of these on Facebook Marketplace going to California. So um, that's interesting. Um, I didn't offer shipping on them, but people kept blowing my phone up. So I'm like, all right, I'll ship them to you. No problem. Cool. So we made some good money off that. Got some vinyl records here. Uh, nothing too crazy. So let's go attempt to do this at the post office. All right. So today at five o'clock is the lockout. And i uh, just really curious about this post office because the last couple days there's been security here. I don't really see too many cars. That's a good thing. So, uh, I had to wait in line the other day just to pick up my mail for 30 minutes. It was ridiculous. Well, I survived here. I'm being really cautious, guys, but I've got to go to the post office every day. And I don't have pickup service. So it's kind of one of these things where you just kind of have to deal with it. Um, but I've really been distancing myself from everybody. Um, just trying to avoid all this because this is I'll be honest it's scary you know and um, I guess the best thing to do is just to be safe as best you can pretty nuts all right the one thing that um, I did forget to prepare was propane so um, I don't know that they're open maybe this propane's good to go that's all I need I think I'm kind of set here so gotta love Arizona drive through liquor stores everything's closed so the only thing that's open is the drive through and um there was a shortage on tobacco i'm, I'm i smoke so i don't i don't buy marlboros or anything like that anymore um well bill turned me on some stuff and we've got like tw 10 pounds of <laughs> tobacco it's craziness but um i'm gonna grab me some beer here because i don't know if this is gonna be a uh situation here where it's not an essential so we still have some, I guess, because um, this area where I'm at, guys, there's about 6,000 people living here, uh, and I don't really want to go in the stores. <laughs> to get some propane, though, so uh, got some propane here just in case uh, we can cook some stuff on the grill, good stuff like that. I found a bunch of these in a storage unit some time ago, and they're coming in handy. I've got them in each vehicle. This one's going to run a little bit low, but every time I... I'm near somebody. I'm constantly putting this on. So, um, just, you know, again, being safe. Being safe. Cam, we got an intruder in the house. What are you doing, dude? What the hell? <laughs> that thing's hey, cool. It's Corona free. <laughs> <laughs> are you selling those on eBay now? I bet it's like hotcakes. I, I found, I had a bunch of them and I, I from when I used to ride, mm -hmm. and I don't ride no more. And then I was like, oh my God. <laughs> That's darn cool. Yeah, they're all. Each one has a different skull on them. If you guys want us to auction some off, let us know. <laughs> Check this out. Bill's got some goodies. He just came back from the post office. That's a real bear claw. Yeah, it's a real bear claw. Dude, that thing's silly. Yeah, I know. That was totally badass. And this is way older than I thought it was. It's thick and heavy too. Look at that. Yeah. Yeah, the bear. That wow. pendant is the one I wanted. Now, I have extra bear claws in mm -hmm. case this wasn't wasn't real, but that 100% is real. And that's a front claw. I can tell. Of, because of the curvage, the rest of them won't be as curved like uh, that. The rear ones are yeah. not as curved. It's very Once you, I show you. Yeah. Um, this is definitely a front claw. What do you I, value that at? Oh, God, dude. Like that. Um, I've seen one of these just at a local place a couple of weeks ago. Yeah. And it wasn't even close to this elaborate, and it was selling for 300 wow. Just the pendant. Dang. Nice find. Yeah, mm -hmm. and I paid, well, I paid really good for it. A lot work. cheaper than that. <laughs> yeah. That thing's killer. Yeah. What kind of turquoise is that, you think? Um, I'm not sure yet. I just opened it. Yeah. So I'm not sure yet. Um. Whatever, I dude, this thing is way freaking older than I thought it was. I'll have to look. You can look and see the age on that thing. Yeah, it's way older. The turquoise, this thing has been worn for, dear God, I don't know how long. It could be a Santa Domingo piece. Mm -hmm. I'll have to look it up. Um, That's heck of cool. 
Yeah, it's really, and that's a piece of Damal turquoise right there. That yeah, this is worth a lot of money. Would you take 50 bucks for it right now? Hell no. <laughs> what did you buy, Kim? If I'm paying a lot for bad portion sizes. Well. Schwann's? Schwann's. Okay. Food prep. Keita's like, I smell chicken. We have chicken breast fillets. Oh, there's 10 chicken breasts oh, okay. in there. So um, we have something for you. Oh, dang. Oh, hey. I love those. That's for you, and something for all of us, our favorite. Oh, man, I haven't had these in years, the Kievs. I think we're going to have those for dinner tonight. <laughs> this is all 130 bucks. Yeah. Pookie, um, what are you doing up there? All right, so I got some fried rice, a couple things of fried rice. This, is, this is the way to do it instead of going to the store. That's a portion. That's about a pound, I yeah. would say. So that's not bad. Um, I got some waffles. More actually than in the store, when I go to the store. So there's 16 waffles, cinnamon toast sticks, French toast sticks. I bet that guy is so busy. Do you remember these from Market Day? Oh, I remember those. Those Love are damn those. good. I had those as a kid. I got some corn on the cob. Okay. I got all kinds of, I got, what else here? Like a chicken florentine. Oh, man. Yeah. These like kings. Cheese curds. All right, we could, we could save the dog food for later then, huh? Yeah. <laughs> uh, another thing of corn just to... That, that's huge, actually. That's a huge bag. And you got bag. a whole other bag right here. And I've got a whole other bag. What did I get here? Oh, my God. French fries. Okay, that is a big bag of French wow. fries. That's... How much is that? Two pounds. <laughs> hash browns. Two pounds of hash browns. All right. Should we take a picture of this and put it on Facebook and start... Two us? pounds of tater tots. Should we try to triple our money on Facebook? And potato wedges. Oh, okay. So, so there we got, go. That's some grub. Shout out to the thanks, Bill. Bill, Bill turned us on to the Schwans. Yeah, no, 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 no uh, talk about social distancing. <laughs> so I got a little of everything. I got breakfast, I've got dinner, and I've got sides. So Sweet deal. And munchies. Delivered. Yeah. Figure and we'll see what we do. Nice. Yeah, good job. Yeah, good job. Okay, um, life's been going crazy, guys. We've got we've got issues out there in the public. We've got issues. <laughs> we got big issues as uh, just human beings, but not only that, as resellers, I'm going to be the first to say this here. This is going to be a long climb, right? Um, you you got to get what you get, right? I mean, it's it's like if you throw enough meat on the the ground. Right? How many coyotes are going to come really quick and get it? How many people are going to come and get it? So the, the best way I could describe a scenario like this, and this is something I've never experienced, right? I've gone through recessions. I've gone through, you know, the last thing, 2007. Um, it's all about being prepared for circumstances. And obviously, you can't be 100% prepared for a lot of things that happen in life, especially this, because I think this is... Uh, I think this is something pretty gnarly and crazy that um, nobody's prepared for. Um, and all you can really do is kind of just stay in your house, stay around people that you trust, um, and just watch each other, watch everybody's backs, um, because it's 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 a scary moment in time. And with that being said, I, I think a lot of us should be out there kind of... Um, Watching our, each other's backs, you know, and, and understanding that um, the future is kind of unknown and that, um, you know, we should support each other. You know, um, my YouTube channel here is it's been around for a long time, but it's uh, it was it's, it's a learning staple. I think, you know, when you look at my channel, it's like here, you know, I'm, I'm talking about reselling, right? I'm not here to I'm not here right now to sell you anything. 
or do anything of that nature. I'm just here to say, listen, you know what? As a reseller out there in the real world in 2020 right now, yeah, things are selling every day for me. I mean, I'm I'm sending out items or packaging items up, but we, we have a shortage now of inventory. That could be an issue for some, and um, it could be an issue for a lot of things going on, like things are start selling fast enough, or they're, they're not selling um, where the money's coming in for you to do other things with. So I, I, I guess what I'm trying to say is maybe pay it forward in this video um, in terms of you know, if you if you're watching other people do auctions, or you know other people, other people's re, uh, reseller eBay stores, maybe support them, because last time I checked, I don't get paid a lot of money through YouTube. <laughs> and I'm not out here saying, listen, go support me and my eBay account or the auctions we're running. I'm just saying, guys, that now is the time to really pay attention to your dollar, pay attention to your money, understand what's happening here. Because this is going to be a long haul. This isn't just going to be a quick 60 days, 90 days to return to normal. This is now the new normal, okay? And I really, really want you to understand that. I'm not trying to scare anybody. But this is the new normal here. And you really got to prepare. But anytime you can pay it forward to anybody that's out there, right? Whether it's other people you're watching on YouTube. Uh, maybe it's somebody on Facebook. Maybe it's somebody locally. Maybe pay it forward if you if you can pay it forward because there's going to be big changes here, guys. And, you know, we'll talk about this in a future video. I mean, I'm not terrified, but I'm also not secure, right? If that makes any sense to you. So I guess the takeaway from today's video is be prepared for anything that can happen with all of this craziness going out there. But also, if you can, pay it forward. It'll make a huge difference. Trust me, right? We're going to get through this, guys. We're going to be great. We're going to be amazing. And we will keep doing what we do.